Hi. For about two decades, Shimano hasn't been manufacturing these tools for opening their uh, free hub mechanisms in order to disassemble them, clean and re-lubricate them. And I like being able to salvage whatever can be salvaged, especially these days when parts are very difficult to find. So finally, I got down to making a tool for doing this job. You can see here close up of the free hub lock ring and I'm pointing now the slots where the tool needs to fit in in order to allow you to unscrew the, the lock ring and uh, disassemble and clean the, the free hub. It has a counterclockwise left hand side that thread. So here I'm unscrewing it turning the, by turning the, the tool clockwise and that's good engineering because the, when the wheel rolls and spins, the bearing balls create a force in the opposite direction. So in order to prevent that lock ring from self-loosening, it was needed to use the left-hand side thread. That's very good engineering. Now to make the tool, I took the closest fitting uh, socket for uh, socket wrenches and uh, ratchet socket wrenches. And uh, it's usually 22 or 23 millimeters. And so the first thing that I wanted to do was to remove this uh, front section because there was a slight angle, like a camber, to make it easier to slide the socket onto, onto uh, bolts. But in this, uh, in this case, I wanted that removed to have a lot of, to have thicker material in order to make the tool last longer, hopefully. And we used uh, this machine to prevent uh, overheating and uh, thus uh, reducing the metal hardness. Uh, I'm not sure the English term is tampering. I didn't want to undo that procedure. And so that was the first thing that we had to do. And next, I wanted to make uh, the tool that fits as tightly as possible, as snugly as possible, in order to make it uh, more difficult to come out, to, to fit just, just right. So here we remove just uh, uh, 0.05 millimeters of the outer diameter, roughly speaking. And it was all done uh, with uh, uh, with the hub in, in place so we could measure it in, and, and give it some trial and error and I will put uh, the exact uh, dimensions that I have measured in the, this video's description and here is just uh, showing the procedure. Uh, final step was uh, removing uh, material all around except leaving two slots that will fit into those on the, on the free hub's lock ring and uh, we wanted them to protrude by a few millimeters, not too much so that they become uh, easier to get damaged or bent, but not too little so that the tool doesn't engage properly. And so uh, thick walls uh, and uh, tight fit will hopefully make this tool last long and work even for stuck free hub uh, lock nuts. And this is the, the beginning of that procedure. Again, we were aiming for making it heat as little as possible and this is the, the, more, the closer to the final stages of the, the complete product. It takes a lot of patience. I'm not sure how economically viable this procedure is, but for me it's, uh, it's cool, I like it, and I'm happy to have this tool now in my tool set finally, so that I can disassemble prehubs and uh, clean them and lubricate them properly. I'll probably make a video on that as well. For now, this is it. I'll give the dimensions in the video's comment and that's it. Thank you for watching and cheers. Hi, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing, you can of course subscribe and use this option, this bell and select all so that you get notified and never miss a new video that I publish. And if you wish to support me financially, you can do so on my bike.bygarmin.com webpage slash support and choose either PayPal or Patreon donation where you can choose the amount per your liking and help me make more and uh, videos of higher, higher quality. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, help and support over the past years. Cheers.